Yo, what's up guys, today we're gonna play the Rex Strike. I'm gonna showcase one of the maps that gonna be played on the tournament. Originally the plan was to make a guide for every map and uh, explain, over explain the basics, you know, by watching the replay, etc, etc, but... 3, 4, 5, 6... But... Yeah, I feel like watching replays and like, over explaining things is kinda... Meh. I'm just gonna play the game. I'm just gonna play the game and try to show you as much. So at the first, at the start of the game, I feel like it's very cool to grab the middle. So you don't rush the hero, uh, but you grab the middle for extra gold. Which is very nice, in my opinion. And then you're slowly gonna progress towards getting a hero, I think. Okay, in 31 seconds. So I can get it right before the timer stops. I mean, when the timer gonna finish. Can I afford to make uh, another footman? I mean, a sork? Yeah, I can. I probably can. Uh, yeah, I'm practicing to play human. Human is one of the most versatile and, uh, you know, flexible races, I would say. Yes, this is li like how I kind of play it. Right maybe it's not the best, maybe it's good, we'll see. But yeah, our opponents are greeting, they probably are taking and going like tier 2, tier 3, for tier 2, tier 3 units. That threat does exist. Mm. But I would highly recommend to, you know, play on early game. Early game you can build up your hero experience, and early game you can... Um, ooh, that's a lot of units. Damn. So you're not making any units, and then you send these. What the F? What, how many it was? I feel like it was like three footmen, two rifles, right? Did he skip a gold mine or something like that? Like, wow. Alright. Well, we need to get a hero now. SAP. We have style playing Panda with two grunts, uh, Pick Dragon Haze, and we have easily playing Farseer, also with two grunts. We have good guy Nick playing Footman and Mountain King. I feel like Mountain King is literally um, the best hero. For humans. There is like also an option for you to go for the Paladin, but you know, I, I still feel like it's um, I still think it's um, Pal I mean uh, Mountain King. The little dwarf is better overall. Okay, what do we get here? Two footmen, two rifles and a sword again. Maybe I can beat it this time, because I have more footmen. Maybe not. Just need to kill this rifleman. Nice. Yeah, I'm not winning until I get a hero. I'm pretty sure he skipped a gold mine. Otherwise he would not... I mean, or get like a uh, late gold mine. Otherwise he would not be able to make that many units so early. Uh, so he has two rifles and footmen, right? Well, I would say that, um... Probably not making rifles for me right now is the best. And instead make more footmen. Just more footmen plus the Mountain King. Rifles are good when the fights start to collapse and you fight opponents of not your original opponents, kinda. What is it? So when you start fighting purple and orange and you fight with support of your allies, etc, etc, etc. I feel like that's the timing when, you know... It is better to have some rifles and other range units because they might support your allies in the fights. But, uh, yeah. 
Okay, we're gonna attack. And if the attack gonna complete in time? Probably not. Yeah, attack does actually take quite a long time to finish. Mountain King against Panda. Dang. Okay, that's a bigger army than I have. <laughs> that's quite a bigger army than I have. What should I get? Let's get defend. Because there are four rifles. I feel like it makes a lot of sense. Defend uh, reduces like damage taken from peers by 50%. So it's pretty good. Assassin MK. Yeah, MK that constantly is getting, uh, you know... Invisibility is pretty annoying, not gonna lie. Let's make more priests. I still stand by the idea of you getting. Um, okay, I might need some rifles already. You getting like footmen, you know, and then you just make casters, and only then you make uh, riflemen. The strategy is pretty good. I feel like the strategy is pretty good and it works in places. Let's get maybe priest some um, the dispel against the slow. Will they dispel the lightning shield? And will they dispel the invisibility? Nice. Okay, we win the first early fights. Now the next challenger is coming. Okay, so wyverns are from orange. So maybe I don't need rifles that much because of that. Should I make rifles chat? I could have gone for tier 3 and uh, just polymorph inner fire. Go also for a mortar team. Nah, I know mortar team is too greedy. I think. Let's get my mountain king uh, ring plus three. More gold is required. Hmm? What is it? I think that's good. How come you you don't be you don't build the fourth and fourth gold mine? Oh, I don't. I don't feel like fourth and fourth gold mine are good. So, uh, when you make a third gold mine, it costs you 300 gold, and it gives you one gold per two seconds. If you do the math, you're gonna pay for the gold mine only in 10 minutes, right? Because in, in 10 minutes, um, you're gonna generate... So in, in one minute you generate uh, 30 gold, right? So in 10 minutes you generate 300 gold. So only after 10 minutes you're gonna get a profit. But you can get an easy profit if you are pushing already. As long as you are passing through the middle, right? You are already pushing and you're gonna get plus 10 gold every 20 seconds. Which is, by the way, equivalent to a gold mine. So pushing early through the, through the middle is equivalent of a gold mine. Therefore, like, why make a third gold mine that's gonna give you benefit and profit only in 10 minutes when you can just play aggressively uh, on experience of the hero, which is one of the most important things in the game to, you know, to get your experience going. Mountain King 3, Mountain King 5 gonna solo carry entire fight. Uh, and also get gold by passing the middle, you know, playing more aggressively, pushing the tower earlier. 
so people have less time to, you know, do stuff and react. So, yeah, I, uh, third gold mine gonna give you profit only in 10 minutes, and the uh, fourth gold mine gonna give you only profit in 30 minutes. So in my opinion, it's just bad. It's just very bad. If you if you rush uh, gold mine free, like it's, let's say at minute five, only at minute fifteen you're gonna get extra from it. Only at minute fifteen you're gonna get extra from it. So yeah, you just don't make one, I guess. I don't I don't feel like I'm gonna want to make any, you know. Instead, I'm trying to play early game as much as I can. And get my hero going, higher levels, bigger army, push through the middle. Wait, wait, does KW bubble up and Kappa mean the same thing? Like something is funny? No! Kappa is like... Is when someone is like uh, bribing you about, you know, having a big dick. Like, I have a big dick, uh, I know, 10 million dollars in my pocket. And, you know... My mom, my dad is like, uh, you know, Twitch CEO. And you're like, yeah, sure, dude. Sure, dude, cap. It's like, you doubt him, you know, it's like a sarcasm emote. Uh, Kick W is a, is a meme. You can literally Google it. Uh, I think it's from the talk show of like uh, some Spanish guy with a very funny laugh. It's like very easy to get. Why, what is the thing, you know? And why does it exist? Uh, Pepper Love is like uh, Pepper the Frog. Just you know, originated from Forsen, I guess, and means mostly like you know. Oh no no no, he doesn't know. When someone is clueless about something, I feel like it originated from there. But yeah, so it's a different Twitch meta emotes, you know. Completely different. But why just don't use lol? Cause... Twitch... Has way more expressive, you know, these emotes have way more expressive context, I guess. You can, like, vary these things. More. Because they, 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 even though, like, they have close meaning, they, they differ. The differ, you know. And mostly like Twitch, you know, they kinda like they are little snobs. They, they like compared to YouTube and other, you know, people like th those are normies. The Twitch emotes, you know, are not normies. YouTube normies. YouTube emotes are normies and like you know the the old like LOL the Mao Rawful, you know, this like it's uh, like 2006 and 10, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. I think it's just more knights. I think it's just more knights, right? I'm pretty sure about that. But yeah, good question about the gold mines. Because I'm probably gonna upload this video on YouTube about the direct strike. Um, yeah, I needed, I needed, like, you know, some context, uh, you know, on strats, etc. So, it's gonna be helping me. With that. Okay, Mountain King 5, you see. If I would have uh, a gold mine earlier, I would not have, like, an extra knight, an extra footman. An extra sword or a priest on a, or an upgrade. And yeah, stuff like that like really matters a lot in my opinion. So like when this mountain king gonna hit low six <laughs> He just clapped entire backline. When this mountain king gonna hit low six Like this guy gonna be a complete disaster, so Off I go then, right Yes, below. All right. Mm. Yeah, I kind of want to make a mortar team. Well, no time for the mortar team, I guess. 
Top 2 on damage. Style with his panda and grunts. It's top 1. Alright, let's play another round. I need to practice my human more. We need to practice my human more against uh, other, you know, races and strats. Style needs to also cement his best panda strategy. Yeah, pan <laughs> Style is waiting for uh, people to counter him, you know. Four, five, six. Summit is, Summit is complete. And I can, I can upgrade a gold mine. Okay, there is a bug. Yeah, we have to remake. Oh well. Well, that's gonna be the video for YouTube at least. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Donate one thousand dollars to the prize pool. Uh, give me fifty subs. I know. Watch other videos, please. Uh, watch. I know. Twitch.tv slash Ace Supreme. Mm, yeah, ch check out my commercial. Okay, guys. Gee.